You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. Tinkerbell to Artie Shaw to George Bush's Thousand Points of Light, America has been mesmerized by stardust since its very inception. And now America is beginning to learn what all these references to the star, the morning star, wish upon a star, stardust, really is all about. There was something very strange about the classical mysteries something which attracted people to them and having attracted them made their initiates with very few exceptions permanent devotees in Egypt Greece India Rome and a dozen other places and countries 
Sacred initiations took place in specially prepared sanctuaries, usually in a cave or underground. Priests of the Mysteries enjoyed the profound respect of the masses, as well as that of kings and counselors, and in those days there was nothing really secret about it except the initiation rites and the knowledge which they retained for themselves, giving only the exoteric to the people. What were the Mysteries? Until relatively recently, and relying upon comparatively scattered fragments such as Apollesius' golden ass, historians and religious writers had formed an opinion of them which has been shown to be extremely naive, if not outright false. They knew that at the ceremonies symbolical teaching took place, and hence inferred that the mysteries were a relic of the times when academic knowledge was guarded by the very few, and scientific truths such as Pythagorean theorems were given only, and only, to the elect. They knew also that orgiastic drumming and dancing formed a part of many of the rituals and therefore told their readers that this was a degenerate form of religion or a mere excuse for licentiousness. They found that stories of ancient gods and heroes were recited and were sure that the mysteries constituted little more than an underground survival of prehistoric religion, magic, or tribal initiation. Or maybe that's exactly what they wanted us to believe, knowing full well that it was false. And of course, if those who did the writing were members of the mysteries, they would never have allowed the secrets to be revealed to the profane. But times have changed, folks. The study of brainwashing and mind control and conditioning the mind within the past decade or so has helped to lay bare the essence of the mysteries and has answered the riddles which surrounded them. You see in this process those who had tried to keep the celebration of the mysteries alive, who had tried to revive them, have been shown up as relying upon the symbolic interpretation alone. And this revelation has been in its own way one of the most startling developments of contemporary religion. You see, for almost anyone, for instance, can get away with telling anyone else that he was an Egyptian priest in a former incarnation, because there's so very little verifiable material available to prove the reverse. It becomes obvious, though, when you attend a party populated by these nuts, when six people introduce themselves as having been Abraham Lincoln in a past life. But let anyone attempt to celebrate any of the ancient mystery cults rituals, and unless he has a sound idea of how the human mind works, he is likely to escape the criticism of those physiologists who now see in the mysteries an almost open book. So let us return to a sketch of the conventional knowledge about the mysteries. And those of Eleusis celebrated in Greece, the candidate had to undergo fasting or abstinence from certain foods. There were processions with sacred statues carried from Athens to Eleusis. Those who were to be initiated waited for long periods of time outside the hall in the temple where the rites were to be held, building up a tremendous tension of suspense. Eventually, a torchbearer led them within the precincts, usually underground. The ceremonies included a ritualistic meal, one or two dramas, the exhibition of sacred objects, the giving of the word, <laughs> an address by the Hierophant, and oddly enough, closure with the Sanskrit words, Kansha Ampaksha. The elements included the clashing of symbols, tension, and a certain degree of debilitation. Eating